A high performance grow light system which will let you grow vegetables and herbs all year long. In today's episode we review the Spider Farmer SF series grow lights. Now I was sent this product for review from Spider Farmer for reviewing the grow light SF2000 system and as you can see the product is very well packaged and there is a little thank you card inside along with the instruction manual which is actually quite simple in my opinion it just has a few pages one with some information on what the grow lights are and some assembly instructions now inside the package you will see the actual grow light and the one thing that strikes you right away is the compactness of the product you usually expect grow lights to be huge and with the vents and stuff like that this is pretty compact it actually looks quite good it's quite modern looking and you also have some tags some plant tags that you can use to label your plants and a very useful tape and i'll shortly show you what's the use of using that inch tape or a centimeter tape some supports are also included which will help you secure your grow light system now this is how the actual led system looks like and it has a lot of these leds and there are different colors there are i believe two colors uh, or three colors of the leds here and if you look at the array it's pretty well arranged and this sf2000 system covers about 3 feet to 4 feet approximately and it's quite sufficient for growing quite a lot of vegetables or herbs in your garden all year long now it's quite cold here in southern california we will still be able to use this grow light system to grow vegetables and herbs indoors and as you can see the light system is quite bright and it's actually extremely bright and this is the area that we are going to be installing our grow lights on now i might change this area to a newer spot depending on how i arrange my room here this room this area is actually under our stairs and it's quite a compact area to set up this grow light system and these are the clips or the hooks that will hold the grow light system in place there are four such clips or hooks that will go onto the grow light system and they will then be suspended by this other part which is the support this is the adjustable support system so basically one of the ends goes to your grow light system the one which has the big black block and the other side actually goes where it's hung and the instruction manual is quite simple to understand all we really do is take the four clips or hooks and attach it to the grow light system base and as you can see there are four such clips or hooks that are provided two for each side of the grow light and there's also the black colored thread which actually helps you support the grow light system and suspend it from a height and as you can see here the instruction manual it's quite clear on how this system should be installed so we're going to go ahead and show you how to install the grow light system and help support it in the area that you're planning to put your grow lights in So the first step is to attach the four corner hooks or clips as you can see here it's a pretty straightforward process and i like the fact that the clips or the hook receivers themselves are metallic it just helps a lot in securing these clips and here is a close up of how this should look like and as you can see the system itself has no fans no exhaust it's just a very modern looking system and this is how the grow light will actually attach to your system we will be using these black suspension threads that are adjustable and these hooks are quite good quality they just snap right on to your grow light system hooks as you can see and although you can just use these two hooks to suspend your grow light system i highly recommend that you use these black thread and this will really help you suspend your grow light system very well now one point to remember is that when you are attaching your grow light system the hooks that have the thick adjustable area go towards your grow light and the other end actually goes towards the wall or the ceiling where you're going to be attaching your grow light to and the reason for that is the adjustable area is very easy to manipulate while it's connected to the top of your grow light system and there's a little lever here that will let you adjust the height of your grow light system and it's quite easy to use i like the design and so far while assembling the product i think the product design is excellent it's quite compact it has this heat sink or the heat dissipator on the top 
that also provides power and the hooks are quite good quality and they have included a lot of material in the kit itself so for the price that you're paying i think it's a great quality high performance light system with a lot of accessories included and this is how your grow light will be eventually suspended in our case we will be attaching this to the ceiling you can also get some supports that you can attach your grow light to however in our case the ceiling height is quite low here this is about 6 feet and the grow light can be easily suspended in this area now the total width of the grow light itself is about 2 feet and we're going to be using some eyes or the eye hooks to attach these to the top of the ceiling here and remember that our ceiling height is quite low if you have higher ceilings that's still fine you will need to adjust the height of your grow light accordingly but these eye hooks can be easily purchased at any hardware store like home depot or lowe's and they just screw right in to the wall and these are extremely easy to use and it will help you suspend any kind of grow light very easily now we are spacing these about 2 feet apart and the reason for doing that is the grow light itself is about 2 feet in width and this will help us easily hang the grow light from these two eye hooks that we have attached to the ceiling and now we are going to go ahead and attach the top hooks or the top clips to the grow light system and that's it that's how the grow light system is installed and as you can see extremely easy to install this probably took just a few minutes of my time to install and get going so overall i was very pleased with the quality and the ease of use of the grow light installation now one last thing that you need to do is if you see all these wires all these black threads that are hanging down you need to secure them and before you secure them just make sure that your height is adjusted in our case we are adjusting our height to about 2 feet from the top which is what the manual recommends and as you can see here we are right about 10 inches from the bottom which means that we'll have to go a little higher and to adjust the grow light all you do is release the lever and then adjust the grow light height so that it is at the height you desire now for the purpose that we are using this grow light for which is the microgreens and vegetables we will be suspending this at a height of about 2 feet which is ideal for any kind of herbs or microgreens or vegetables and as you can see now our height is at about 22 inches so we are just going to go a couple inches higher and while you're adjusting the one side of the grow light you do have to adjust the other side as well just to make sure that the grow light is balanced and is straight now i usually eyeball it you don't have to be very precise and use a leveler or anything like that and finally we have achieved our height of 24 inches and our last step is to secure all the loose threads or the loose cords in place and the kit came with a little rubber band that you could use to secure this as well so all you do is adjust the height of your grow light and then secure all the threads the black threads using the rubber band just like that just make sure that it's not touching any of the hotter areas like the top of the lights you want to make sure that it's all secure so let's go ahead and turn on the lights and as you can see as soon as we turn on the lights these lights are extremely bright in fact they are so bright that my camera is not able to capture all the highlights that are there for this grow light so once again here you see this gives a much better view of how the lights are i believe they are like white as well as some red and blue lights and this covers the entire spectrum of what your plants need to grow and thrive and once again this is a very modern looking extremely good looking grow light and i've used these hooks just to keep the wires away from touching the tables or touching the surface of the heat dissipator and that helps me maintain a clean appearance here for the grow lights as you can see and there are some suggestions on the user manual as to what's the distance and what's the lighting time and some growing tips that you should be aware of and there are also some instructions and details on what grow lights are used these are samsung very high quality led lights and there are some instructions on the operating voltages as well just spend some time reading and going over these manuals and that will be very helpful now i have set up my grow lights on this table here 
I'm planning to set up a set of two grow lights in this area. And as you can see, the SF2000 grow light has been set up here. And what are we going to do now? We're going to be planting some microgreens. So right under the grow light, you can see that I've taken a container and this container contains cocoa core. This is the cocoa core potting mix with cocoa chips from Vermisterra. And I've reviewed this product in one of my earlier videos as well. It's a great quality product to grow microgreens. And we are also going to be mixing some worm castings. These are also the Vermisterra worm castings. And this is an excellent quality product. I've been using Vermisterra products for quite some time now. And I can comfortably say that they're extremely high quality products. And we're going to be mixing some worm castings into the Vermisterra Coco Core mix. As you can see, this is for the microgreens preparation. We're going to be preparing the bed for our microgreens. And Coco Core holds a lot of water. And that makes it a great medium for growing microgreens. We've taken a wide container and we're going to be planting some broccoli, some peas, as well as some radish microgreens in this container. Now our cocoa core mix is pre-moistened and these are the seeds. We're going to be sowing some seeds just like that, just like you see here. And you can sow microgreen seeds close to each other. You don't have to space them apart because they will grow as a bunch and then you can harvest them. And all we're doing is just covering it with a little bit more of the cocoa core mix. And this cocoa core mix was expanded in water. And if you needed more instructions on how to do that, you can check out my previous videos. Next up are peas. The pea seeds are quite large in size and pea microgreens make an excellent microgreen. And all you do is just scatter your peas along the container just like that and then cover it with cocoa core. And then we're going to be doing the same thing for our broccoli microgreens. We're going to be spreading these seeds all around the container just as you see here. And we're going to be covering it up with a little bit of cocoa core. And along with our microgreens, we also planted a couple of plants, a tomato and pepper plant. Everything is now set up properly. As you can see, the grow light is at about two feet from the top of the plants that we are growing. And we're going to be turning on this grow light. And as you can see, this is extremely bright. The camera takes some time to adjust to the brightness, the extreme brightness. But I really love this grow light so far. It almost looks like daylight inside my house and I also used a timer. I'll provide links to all the product descriptions in the video comment and the video description. These timers will help me control for how much time this grow light is on during the day or the night. I can actually set up any time that I want. And this is a set of two timers. These are mechanical timers and in my opinion the easiest to use. All you do is set your current time to the area that's pointed at by the arrow. So it's about a little past 10 now. So I'm going to set up the time just like that as you see here. And all these pins, these black pins that you see, as long as they're in a down position, that means that your timer will be on or your power will be on. So I'm starting at 4 p.m. I want my grow lights to run from 4 p.m. to 6 a.m., which is about 10 hours a day. And the reason I chose this time window is that I'm usually available to check the grow light during these times. So it's just easier for me to set up the timer in this way. But you can set up any 10 hours during the day that works for you. Now once set up, it's important to keep the plants hydrated. So I highly recommend that you use something like a spray bottle to keep the plants hydrated. And we'll soon see how the microgreens and the plants grow under this grow light. So there we have it folks, that was a review of the Spider Farmer SF2000 Grow Light and also how to use the Vermisterra Coco Core Mix and Worm Castings to set up your containers for growing microgreens and other vegetables inside your home during the winters. If you like this video, do give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions, do put them in the comments box below. I will provide the product links in the video description as well as the comments below. We'll see you again soon. Happy gardening!